Happy Tuesday, Mid-Missouri. It's a bright one today. Temperatures here on your Tuesday are a little warmer than Monday and a little cooler than Wednesday. We're tracking a, a slow warming pattern day by day with a lot of sunshine along the way. We're talking uh, temperatures close to 80 by noon this afternoon. I expect patios, lunch patios to be full even with a high in the 80s is we're not dealing with a whole lot of humidity that will peak tonight into tomorrow as we see more moisture work back in. It's enough to bring an isolated shower or storm near I-44 after 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, and this activity will sort of weaken as we head into the overnight hours and kind of die through sunrise tomorrow. And then it starts to pulse back up tomorrow afternoon as we get to the heat of the day on your Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, we do expect mid 80s. And again, those isolated storms will bring very isolated relief. It just depends on if you find yourself underneath one of them. Our main concern here is going to be lightning. We're not expecting any kind of severe weather. Lightning is going to be the impact, so don't cancel any plans. And if you're not watching this on the ABC 17 Storm Track weather app, I would suggest downloading that, turning those location notifications on. It will let you know if there's lightning nearby. Uh, so you don't have to cancel any plans. You really don't need to pay that much attention to the weather because it'll let you know. Um, overall, though, it's going to be a largely dry day, some hit and miss thunderstorm activity through about the dinner hour, uh, the afternoon into the evening, and then things will wane again with the sunset. So we're looking at very summer like day tomorrow uh, with maybe a quarter of an inch uh, of rain at the most, but that's going to be very isolated underneath those storms. We're really not looking at much in the way of measurable rainfall. Uh, and over the next seven days, it's about the same, less than a quarter of an inch largely with emphasis towards Kansas City and Springfield. Uh, I'll show you what's happening with that. The reason that area is highlighted is because we see this chance for rain with that moisture working on in. It's very isolated activity, but then a backdoor cold front sweeps in and that's going to really push that moisture to our west. And some guidance has it just near Kansas City and Springfield. And so where you're on the edge of that moisture, that's where we are going to keep some small rain chances and we might have a better chance at some more rainfall, especially heading towards the end of the week. But for us here in in Missouri, things are trending dry, not just lack of rainfall dry. I mean, dew points are low dry in the 50s and even falling off the charts on Friday. So we're looking at not only dry feeling days, but these temperatures are trending downward as well. We may see these fall into the 70s Thursday and Friday. Right now I'm hanging on to 80s because I don't want to jump the gun there. It still looks like it's going to be mild and in all real reality, this is just going to be pretty close to where we typically are for this time of the year in the low 80s and upper 70s. We're not looking at a big cool down, but it's going to be cooler than what we see on Wednesday and respectively into next week where temperatures climb back into not only the mid 80s, but potentially the upper 80s as we pick up more chances for rain into early next week.